All right, so in this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to install the Geisley Maritime Bolt Catch. So this guy right here, okay? And we're gonna be putting it on my VCM lower receiver right here. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna separate the upper receiver completely from the lower receiver. And then next thing you wanna do is you wanna pull this hammer into the back position and then put this to safe, just to ensure that while you're working on it, you don't accidentally pull the trigger and slam the hammer. Okay, so that is the first step. And tools we're gonna to be using is a little small hammer. And then I bought this off Amazon. It's just a gunsmithing punch set for roll pins. So let's get to the installation. I'm gonna remove this. I'll show you guys how and then I'll show you guys how to reinstall this one. All right. And remember this is spring loaded. So as you're hitting this out with the punch, just this could spring out. So just keep that in mind. So we're gonna start from the back here and we're just gonna lightly tap and punch this out. You see it's, it's starting to come out. A little tedious kind of work, but you just gotta keep going at it. If you wanna be safer about your, or, you know, scratching your stuff up, I do see people put like electrical tape here and there. Me personally, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna be very careful while I'm striking this. So let's just keep going. All right, so there, this came out, okay? That's the roll pin here, I'll set that there. And you can see <laughs> the punch actually held my thing in place. So let's pull this out. Boom, and right there. Okay, so here's the old bolt catch here. And right here, that's the plunger. So there's a spring and a, and a little metal cap in there. This could stay. Um, you don't need to take this out. Um, I'm not going to take it out, but it's so pretty much that's the plunger. So underneath this little metal cap is a spring. That could stay in there. The maritime bolt catch um, doesn't come with the with the plunger and the spring because it is intended for you to use your stock plunger and spring. All you have to do is just switch out uh, the two of these and then they also give you a their own roll pin. So we're going to be using their roll pin and take out the stock one. So yeah, plunger and spring, just leave that in there. Doesn't need to take out. All right. All right, so here is the roll pin for the maritime bolt catch the geisley and if you see here there's a little uh indent a little cut through the roll pin and then there's the smooth side so this cut side you want to make sure this is facing inwards towards the receiver so not out like this but when you slide it in, you want it to face that way towards the receiver. And let's go ahead and install this guy. So pretty much all we're doing here is we're putting this back into here. Okay. That spring tension. And then you want to line this up with the holes. And pretty much while lighting it up, you want to shove this pin in there. So there's different methods and ways to do this. Um, a good way 
I think is take your punch. See, let's push this down, line up the holes. Okay. Take your punch to hold it in. Okay. So all we're doing is we're using the punch to hold this in place. Okay. Now with our other hand, we can guide this roll pin through. So let's try and do that right now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for another punch to use to put that on. Let's see here. Let's see. I need something like this. So I got a different size punch here that I'm going to try to see the punches come with this little uh, round ball at the tip. You can use that for like a starter guide and you could put that round ball in this little hole right and you can punch it like that what i've seen some people do is they'll take a piece of electrical tape to wrap these two together so this doesn't fall um i might do that actually because that'll help get me started so be right back so we got our starter here i got the roll pin taped up to my punch just to hold it in place and we're just gonna place it in here make sure the the slit is facing towards the receiver okay here we give it some taps nice and steady wins the race You want to pull your stock out give you some more space to swing that would work too so let's just keep going here it's a little tricky I'll, I'll, I'll admit that So I got it started. See, this is this is a, the pin is a little bit in now. I'm just gonna I can take that out now. All right, roll back some of this tape. All right, let's keep going. Tedious process, but we can get it. Getting there. All right. There we go. Now let's uh, take this tape off. So let's remove this tape and then we got it started so now we could just hit it with the punch and the hammer okay so that was a little tricky but you saw what I was doing there okay so we got it started everything's looking good okay the pin is around probably right up to the edge of this catch right there so now we're pretty much hitting it just the rest of the way flush. So now we can just take the punch and the hammer and finish it off. Also, if you notice when I was hitting this, I did this. 
So I use my pinky to, because this has some spring tension to it, so I use my pinky to push this down a little bit so that the holes would line up good because once this comes out a little bit, this will lift up just a little bit, making the holes a little bit offline. That's why when I was hitting it, it wasn't really going anywhere. So I was like, okay, wait a minute. I needed to push this down more to better line up those holes. So I used my pinky like this, and then I had my two fingers like this, boom. And, you know, so gripped it with my two fingers, pushed it down the catch with my pinky to line the holes up, and you kind of just boom, 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 boom like that. But that part's done, so just a little trick there you could try. Um, I still got tape on here. Hold on. All right. Okay, so now let's complete tapping this in. We're literally almost there, guys. Good. All right. Okay, a little bit more. Check for flushness. Okay. Okay. Probably another strike should do good. So that, that looks good to me. You see, not that hard. I was able to install this without um, damaging or scuffing up my lower receiver. So this is fully installed. Okay, let's go ahead and attach this to the upper receiver and give it a couple tests. Okay, here we go. So we got the upper receiver with the lower receiver all together now. And uh, the reason why I went with the Maritime Bolt Catch by Geisley is just for the simple fact that it has a lot of purchase. It has a lot of surface area for me to manipulate this bolt catch. I noticed with the, with the stock one, um, pushing this, this little pin down to... Um, Hold the bolt was kind of uh, difficult at times trying to do that so a little bit more bigger surface area down here was what I wanted and plus a little bit more surface up, up here as well so you know just makes it a little bit easier to manipulate um, that's the whole goal here for me anyways so uh, let's go ahead and pull this charging handle back and See if it catches the bolt. Boom. Okay. So as you see, charging handles back. The bolt is good back there. Seems to be holding it just fine. Okay. Now let's go ahead and release the bolt right here. Bolt is released, seemed to work just fine. All right, so that was the installation of the Geisley Maritime Bolt Catch. Um, I hope this video helped you in some way. Just know that this installation video is pretty much the same regardless of what kind of bolt catch you choose to use. So whether it's a Geisley, or any other brand that you use, it is the same process. Okay, you have the 
the catch mechanism itself and then through here you have that roll pin and make sure you have a punch set because it's going to make your life easier to punch that roll pin out and a smaller hammer is ideal so you're not banging up against the receiver and most of the time your lower receiver if it came fully complete it's already going to have the the plunger pin remember the the spring with the metal cap the plunger so most of the time your lower receiver is already going to have that in there so just remember that stays there once you pull out the old piece the old bolt catch and the old roll pin it's going to have the the plunger already in there just leave it as is that doesn't need to be changed out um, now if you have a lower receiver where like everything was completely stripped and you're installing the entire you know thing complete in then you will have to you know of course add the spring and then the the cap over um, so you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to install the plunger but yeah today's video was just installing the bolt catch the roll pin with the previous plunger already in the lower receiver so anyways um i hope this video helped you in some way and please like and subscribe and feel free to comment down below and tell me what you guys think all right have a great day